So in this video, we are going to look at quantifiers. Now, quantifiers are words in English that tell us about the quantity of something or how much there is of something. So the quantifiers that we use are some and any, much and many, each, every, more and most, a little, little, a few, few, both, either, neither, fewer or less, several, all know and enough. So when you use quantifiers in English, we use them with nouns, but you have to know which kind of noun you are using. So as you've studied before, we have uncount nouns and count nouns. Now a count noun would be something like apple, because it's possible to count apples, one apple, two apples. Um, an uncount noun would be something like oil. Oil is impossible to count, so that would be an uncount. Now quantifiers that we use with count nouns. Uh, many, a few, fewer and several. So the examples are not many people, a few parties, fewer drinks or several drinks. Now quantifiers that we use with uncount nouns. So much, a little, little and less. So the examples, not much fun, a little time, little experience or less money. Now there are some quantifiers that you can use both with count and uncount and there's no difference in the meaning. So some, for example, we can say some money, some people. Um, we can say not any juice or not any glasses, more water or more cigarettes, all information, all stores, enough food and enough folks. Now there are certain quantifiers that can only be used with singular count nouns, meaning only one. So each each person, every time, either choice and neither place. On the other hand, there are certain quantifiers that we can only use with a plural count noun and actually there's only one, it's both, so both students, so just with the plurals. Um, now many of these quantifiers can be used without a noun, so for an example, did you see any animals on your trip? Actually we didn't see any. Another example, how many people came to the party? only a few. This is the end of part one, we'll continue in part two.